Dial Assault Rifles or received a buff a few hotfixes ago. I've recently had time to playtest them all and instead of bringing you individual videos of each one and how they are now in game, I've decided to bring you them all in one. So today guys I bring you my opinion on all 6 Dahl Legendary Assault Rifles. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So at the moment there are 6 Dahl Legendary Assault Rifles in the game. A few hotfixes they go, all Dahl Assault Rifles received a damage buff of 35%, which considering some of these were already pretty decent prior to this hotfix, the results of the buff could be indeed crazy. And that's the reason behind this video, I've gone back and used all 6 and I'm bringing my thoughts today on the Legendary Dahl Assault Rifle family. So let's start people and we'll get into this with the newest addition to the Dahl family and that is the good Juju. Now the good Juju as we know drops from the Rampager and also I believe Walton and the Valkyrie squad within the Malawan raid. And while this is a gun in reference to the bad Juju from Destiny, dropping offering all element types and it is a 4 round burst weapon. Kills reset the magazine also which means you can constantly keep firing as long as you're getting those kills. Now using this weapon now I can say for sure this thing hits like a truck, it is super powerful and the buff they applied you can truly feel. Only let down for me is the fact it's a burst fire weapon meaning there's a slight fall off in that DPS but in saying that it still fires in full auto so you don't have to spam that fire button. It also has two different sights like all dial assault rifles I do believe which you can switch at any time just like how you'd switch firing modes. But the two sights are pretty decent as it does help when trying to target at different ranges. And as this thing is super accurate, the longer sighted scope is very very useful. So yeah guys, the good Juju is actually a great powerful weapon now. One I do recommend you do trying out. Ok so let's move on to the other burst fire legendary dial assault rifle within this game and that is the barrage. Now this legendary is obtained from Scrack within ascension bluff on pandora and can drop off in corrosive and radiation or no element at all. Now I won't lie to you guys this isn't a weapon I remember using much prior to testing it for this video. So exactly what this does special I ain't too sure on, what I can say is though I'm sure it's got something to do with its fire rate as the fire rate on this thing is pretty crazy. Now although it's a free burst and unlike the good juju it isn't full auto, so you do have to spam that fire button. If you have got a trigger finger people this thing can shoot at a crazy rate. And because of this it does feel like it shoots faster than a good juju even though stat wise it states its fire rate is lower. But I think that's got something to do with a good juju and the fact it shoots 4 round bursts. They shoot in a 3 round burst. What you'll also know is people this has got half the damage that that good juju offers. Which is kind of weird because it isn't made up with that fire rate either. Now although this isn't as powerful as the good juju, it's still a very capable weapon people. If you land that one with that perfect anointment too, it could probably surprise you. But for sure guys at this stage I'd rather use the good juju for sure. Ok so let's move on to the third Dahl Assault Rifle we're going to cover today and that is the Warlord. So this legendary assault rifle drops from Billy the Anointed located in Jacob's Estate on Eden 6 and it can drop after an incendiary, shock, corrosive or no element at all. So this weapon's speciality is, has a 30% chance not to consume ammo. What this does is with its decent mag size of standard of 45, Add to that with your build even, it can sometimes make it feel like it just lasts forever. Now we'll state, out of the, all the no burst doll legendary assault rifles I will cover today, this on paper and in battle does feel the weakest in terms of actual damage output. But don't let that put you off, although this weapon won't deal the most damage it's still a very very good weapon and you can truly feel this thing has had a buff. But in all honesty, I don't feel the 30% chance not to consume ammo is special enough. So let's move on to the next assault rifle and that is the Star Helix. So this assault rifle drops from the Power Troopers located in Atlas HQ on Promethea. So this Star Helix fires 2 or 3 projectiles per shot and the two side projectiles will meet the centre projectile at a certain distance. Now targets not right in front of you require correct spacing to make the most out of this weapon and the damage it's capable of. In close range combat though or against large targets, the projectile pan is less of a concern as all three shots are more than likely going to hit that target. 
Now the Star Helix out of the bunch today is definitely the most unique in its actions and it kind of makes for a fun weapon to use also. Its damage output is quite decent at level 53, around 650 times 3 to 750 times 3 and what's great about this also is it only consumes one ammo per triple shot which is cool. So yeah guys the Star Helix is a great powerful weapon if you learn those distances. Ok so we're going to move on and next up people we have the Chaos. Now this legendary drops from the cycle Blizz upon Amber Mia and it drops offering all elements. Now this crazy high fire rate AR is actually very very impressive, in fact I feel this is kinda overlooked. So this thing's speciality is upon killing an enemy, it creates a large explosion which is amazing to witness and causes some great great damage. And although this is a potent weapon, super powerful, it has great accuracy and stability, it's even better as a weapon in terms of mob controlling, just because of those explosions it causes. What I will state is though this weapon is kinda let down by its small mag size. Yes this can be counted with builds and so forth and it does have a decent reload too but you still feel you are reloading quite often and it does burn through the ammo also as you can imagine. But overall people I do feel the chaos is an amazing weapon, one I feel many many people out there, many many folks out there do indeed overlook. So next up guys and lastly on the dual legendary assault rifle list is the breath of the dying. So this weapon drops from blinding banshee within desolation's edge and it drops offering corrosive only. This thing's speciality is kills with this weapon makes the enemy explode releasing corrosive balls in all directions. And it's very very efficient in doing that, it's very very effective too. Now this is a weapon I did see a surge in usage around the release of the Maliban Raid due to how effective it is in there and it truly is effective people, now it would be even better. Again though like the Chaos it has a great fire rate, not as quick but still very good, its magazine size though is equal to that of the Chaos and like the Chaos you see yourself reloading more times than you want and again you burn through the ammo like crazy. And to be honest guys this is actually very much like the chaos and the way it works is kind of the same, decent against a single target but does come into its own against groups of enemies and that's where I feel this is best used. Now the question is which would I take out of all these legendary dual assault rifles, which is the best in my opinion? Well guys it was the good juju up until the point I started testing and using the chaos. The chaos in my opinion offers the most and the fact it comes in all elements too it's definitely a weapon I feel people are sleeping on. It's actually an it's one of the best assault rifles in this game without a shadow of a doubt. And I'm actually ashamed to not have realised this sooner. So yeah guys, out of the bunch, out of these six, the chaos is the one I would take. So from best to worst in my opinion, the best is the chaos, then probably the good juju, then I'll take the breath of the dying, then the star helix, then the warlord, and then the barrage. From top to bottom, best to worst. So yeah guys that's my take on the 6 dull legendary assault rifles after patch, after hotfix, after that buff. And on that note we have come to the end of the video, if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps me out, if you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button but guys thanks as always for stopping by, hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.